Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the fish room. And fortunately, we are doing an unboxing tonight. So I got a package in the mail here. This is actually from Aquabid. So I figured since we just recently did a live stream talking about Aquabid, it was a perfect opportunity to do uh, an actual unboxing of an Aquabid purchase. So you can hopefully see what you may expect from some sellers, get a different idea how things are gonna work. And you're definitely getting a, a sneak peek of some tanks behind me right now. Um, but things are cooking in the fish room and we also have kind of a bonus unboxing from Aquarium Co-op that I want to do. All right, so like I said, this is a purchase from Aquabin and this package actually did come out of Hawaii. So no surprise to anybody, this is actually gonna be um, more Japanese rice fish but I'm very excited for these ones. And there's gonna be fairly small, so we'll try and get some decent shots of them um, once I get them out of here and actually up into just a small tank here for now. Because um, I actually purchased uh, six fry, so six babies. So let's get them out of the box here. Let's see what we got. So unfortunately, they did sit in the mailbox for the majority of the day. So my housing complex, we have the community mailbox thing going on. And I'd normally get a, a, a shipping notification, but I just, I just didn't this time. And that's no fault of the seller. Uh, the seller actually has a very reputable name on Aquabid and packaging is looking good. So I'm hopeful that everything will be all right here. So before we get to the fish, so again, newspaper is very common in shipping. And, well, let me get that bag out of the way. So that's nice too. So if anything leaked, um, <clears throat> kind of protect your shipment a little better, which I have had things leak before. It's very unfortunate. And here we go. Let's take a look. Ah, everything's good. So very well packaged. Um, very tight bag here, so this is not a breather bag, so one thing I can float. <clears throat> Looks like it did include uh, a plant clipping in here just to kind of help the fish. And if you can see them, tiny little fish swimming around right there. So how many do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome! Looks like you shipped me an extra fish, which is always a pleasant surprise. I always appreciate that from sellers that do that for me. So seven little itty bitty rice fish. Um, I wonder if they're gonna get swallowed up in the tank. I was actually gonna put them into a 10 gallon tank. Now I'm kind of debating on moving them to a five gallon tank just for grow out, because these things are tiny. I think they'll be all right in a 10 gallon though. So this is a black Madaka lame fish. So lame is actually L-A-M apostrophe E or like L-A apostrophe M-E or L-A-M-E apostrophe. However you want to say it, it's more of a French pronunciation. So I want to say like Lama, but I have no idea. Don't speak French, never have, probably never will. But it's, so we're just going to say lame. But think of it as more of a pearl scale adaptation. So a lot of these, uh, the scales on the fish on the side are going to have a nice shimmer to them. So really beautiful uh, aspect of it and I've always wanted to get a black Madaka rice fish for whatever reason I thought that would just be really cool uh, to actually bring in so fortunately I was able to find some on Aquabid I won that bid I'm very happy with my purchase from this seller um, we'll be checking out some of his listings as well because I know he has some other rice fish I got my eyes on so let's go ahead and get these up into a tank let me take a little bit of a closer look to them and then we'll kind of get the tank set up for them all right, so I actually we're gonna need, we may need some of this stuff here to set up the tank how I want to. So this purchase is from uh, Aquarium Co-op, mainly plants tonight. I did also pick up two more of their Pleco Caves, just as I'm bringing in more Plecos to the fish room, or actually just have Plecos in the fish room, I'm working on breeding, uh, I think Aquarium Co-op. This your standard cave, but for the price, you can't beat it. So these are actually a really nice triangle open cave. But now we're gonna get into so we've got a nice uh, Pogo, Stamon, uh, Pogo Stamon Stellatus octopus plant. Um, and the way the aquarium co-op is actually packaging their plants now 
is really is really nice. I actually really like these tags that they put on this now. So Pogo Stamos, Stellaris Octopus. Um, yeah, the way they put them in these Ziploc bags, so nothing's gonna leak. So literally, it's a Ziploc bag. Then you get this mesh bag that the plant's actually in, so very well done. Um, you can actually tear these open to gain access to your plants. And like we've talked about in some previous stuff, Aquarium Co-op does really, really well with their plants. So I mean, look at that. Wow! I could literally make this like seven different plants. That is huge. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a Pogo Stamon Stellatus Octopus if I've ever seen one. Man, that plant is gorgeous. That's actually going into a uh, African cichlid tank, believe it or not. So we'll be showing that one off later. So yeah, so Aquarium Club just does a fantastic job packaging their plants. Then one thing I'm really excited about that I've always kind of been wanting to try here is their coconut shell bridge that's covered in Christmas moss. So moss is a fantastic thing to have in your tank if you're working on breeding fish. We've talked about that a lot. A lot of my breeding setups, actually all my breeding setups, <clears throat> I have moss in right now. But this is a unique thing. It's going to add some cover for your fish. So it's not a necessarily, it's not a cave, but it's going to add that nice, and look how wet these paper towels are still. So again, excellent packaging. And you get a good portion of Christmas moss on this, uh, this coconut hut. I mean, check that out. That's some really deep green moss. So it's Christmas moss. It's probably has some Java moss mixed in a bunch of different mosses. I don't really care. But what's going to be nice is that this will provide a place of refuge for your fish, maybe establish some uh, territories. But then this Christmas moss is just going to grow out from this. Great for shrimp, great for the things. So I'm actually going to try, may try this in um, my multi tank or even my African cichlid tank. Just because I want some nice greenery in one of those. I think what I'm gonna do. All right, and then finally from this unboxing the Aquarium Co-op, we got five portions of their Java Moss. And Java Moss is literally gold. Um, always difficult to find in my area, as you've been known as I've been getting a, a lot of Java Moss from like Peter and stuff, who's can grow it like crazy. But this one interested me because it's actually on a mat. So this is a piece of plastic right here in the corner. This whole thing of Java moss grew out onto with a little bit of weight down here in the center. So that's gonna sit, I can sit this right in the bottom of the tank. And I run mostly bare bottoms in all of my breeding tanks right now. <clears throat> so what will be nice is I can set this on the bottom of the tank and this Java moss is gonna grow up, up and out from this mat, providing an excellent cover for fry. So I got some new tanks we're bringing in the fish room. I got some tanks I want to add some moss to, and I specifically wanted to unbox this for those new uh, Japanese Madaka rice fish we just got in to put those in their tank. So let's go ahead and set these up in some of the tanks, and then I'll show you the right, we'll put the rice fish actually into one of the tanks. All right, so we're first gonna empty the rice fish out into this little specimen container I have, where it's actually one of the large Lee spe specimen containers, I think you call it. Uh, the reason being is I don't want this water necessarily in my water. So I'm not just going to dump the bag in there. Because I want these kind of going into you know, a quarantine setting. But I want to get them out of this bag. And then I'll actually net them over to that tank. So when you're dumping fish out of a bag, you need to make sure that you check all your corners. Make sure there's no fish stuck anywhere. Looks like we got a low depth seat right there. There's actually a fish stuck. Glad we checked that. All right, got him out. So as I say, we have the little snail stuck right there. I think it's a snail. Yeah, little snail. Not worried about that. Oh, there's another fish in there. Jeez, we got a lot of fish stuck in this. All right, hang on. That's why you double and triple check and quadruple check your bags is especially when you're working with fry of this nature you do not want to you know, leave your fish in the bag that would be an unfortunate day so little fish got him I don't know if that one's gonna make it unfortunately we may have just lost one due to my 
inability to unbag them properly. Yeah, we'll see. He's breathing, so we'll give him a chance. But let's see if we can't check these little fish out here. Um, we'll come down to there. This may have a really difficult time focusing. We're going to see how this does. <clears throat> Just a bunch of little tiny, tiny baby fish right there. Let's see if I can't get that a little easier to see. Let me get a little closer. Is that focus? Let's see if that focus is any better for you. There we go. <clears throat> tiny, tiny little rice fish fry. So tiny little dudes. Um, it looks like the one made a recovery. Success! Yes! So we didn't lose any. Perfect. So everyone's looking good. But yeah, these are the, the black lama or the black lame Madaka rice fish. So again, really happy to get these guys in. Um, I'm always on the lookout for new rice fish types. And I know there's a couple on Aquabid that I'm really going to have to go through a bidding war uh, to get. Because they are in hot, hot commodities. So we got one hiding back there. Uh, let's come back over this way. So now when you're moving tiny fish like this, uh, the best net I've actually found to do this is actually a little shrimp net. Um, it's small enough. I mean, see, it moving fry is so hard. Um, I gotta think about this actually. I need a wider mouth. kind of game planning here on the fly. So I think what I'm going to do is dump the fish into this Tupperware container because it has a little larger, has a lot larger opening actually. It's not as deep. So I think it'll allow me to set these down really quick. So once again, we're checking all the corners of this as we want to make sure we did not lose any fry. Set that over there. <clears throat> I wonder if I can actually give you a, hang on, I'm gonna try and give you a top down view. Cause these fish are pretty. I mean, they're just itty bitty still, but they're pretty fish. So hang out with me here. You're gonna see my, uh, my messy fish room floor. And actually a uh, <laughs> sneak peek of something else we're playing with in the fish room right now. I mean, this video is full of, is he going to focus there? <clears throat> Maybe. See a little itty bitty rice fish down there. These guys are beautiful. So I'm going to move these guys to a, a 10 gallon tank. It's probably going to be really hard once we move into that 10 gallon tank. I've, if I'd really thought about it, I probably would have put them into a 5 gallon tank, which I kind of have one ready, but it's also on hold for something else. Actually had really good success uh, raising rice fish in a five gallon tank actually so here's the tank it's the on the very end of the rack right now just kind of what I have space for so we're using an aquarium co-op sponge filter in the back I have it set to a really low flow right now just because I do not want here let me see if I can see if I can show you because these fish are so small if I have it set to the same flow, let me turn that, that down for you. If I have it set to the same flow as this, it's going to push the fish around a lot. So in this tank, we have the endlers, different fish. But you, so you can see it's, just, it's still aerating. There's just not as much going on as this one over here. Um, you see, that's on purpose. So you can, kind of, you can see the difference there. Is I knew these fish were going to be tiny, tiny fry. So I just want to make sure we got that taken care of. And then we have a clump of java moss that I actually purchased from Rainbow Shrimp. I think that's what he goes by, is Rainbow Shrimp. I think his name is Cody or Corey. Uh, recently just met him at my guppy club. Uh, really cool guy. So I'll leave, I'll leave the link down to his, his stuff in the description. Mainly does Instagram, but he also has a website he set up. And then we put two of the moss mats in. 
that we just unboxed from Aquarium Co-op. So really happy about these fish and you know I'm looking forward to seeing what we do with them. Because as always, you know, the goal is that breeding action. So we're gonna transfer <laughs> I promise they're there. We're gonna transfer those fish to that tank. But guys, <sighs> as always, thank you so much for supporting me on this. Um, you know, the support that I received on YouTube lately. Oh, my microphone's way backwards. Shoot. Well, let's do this. The support that you guys have given me recently has allowed this purchase, which I'm very grateful for. So hopefully here sometime in the near future, we will have some black rice fish to offer up. So guys, thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you on the next one.